there's no way in hell I'm actually going to play fairly when the game won't play fairly. Oh boy, I'm dreading this one, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the Nintendo Entertainment System. You know, Superman 64 was almost amusing, but this one I hear is pure torture. We shall see if it lives up to that claim. That the game is just unfairly hard. And it's infamously known for that. Oh, uh, okay. You can only jab people with your cane and it doesn't really do anything. Hey, take it easy. Oh, I guess every time you want to save state it. What the hell was that about? That was weird, wasn't it? Okay, I guess I'm playing as Mr. Hyde now. Isn't that just great? Ah, this is just fantastic. Great. I'm dead. Yeah, game over. Frick, this... The way this quick save system works is just weird. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to use shift and one. Okay, there we go. Frick. Okay, I figured out how to use it properly. So you just gotta stay far away from that frickin' bomb when he drops it for no reason. Really? Come on, man. What do you gotta do that to me, huh? Oh, well, that's just great. This is one of those games that I really do not respect enough to not use save states. Jerk, I need to teach you a lesson. Come here, I need to give you a thrashing. A proper thrashing. Kid! What is with these people? I swear every single person in this this town is a douchebag. That is the technical term. Can't even touch a spider. You go ahead and blow up that spider. The spider was unattered. Yeesh. This is ridiculous. Yeah, when they have to run suddenly... Dag nabbit that spider, I can't get past it. There it is. Okay. There you go. I got past you that time, didn't I? I don't even care that I'm abusing save states. It's not like I'm trying to go for a challenge or anything. I'm just playing this to truly get a grasp of the worst of the worst. Of course, I'm starting out with the more frustrating games, even though Superman 64 wasn't the most frustrating thing ever, but you know. This is definitely on the top of the list for the more frustrating of the infamous games. And near the end, I'll probably do the more amusing ones. You know, like... Big rigs. Forget cat. That's one weird cat. Yep, dropping bombs on me. These people are insane. And they say Dr. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde are the insane ones because he split personalities. Well, maybe they drove him to insanity. This whole town is screwed up. This whole freaking town is screwed up. And I will gladly say it until the end of time. Everything is trying to kill him. Is he wonder he loses his mind? Yeesh. How do I get past this? Damn it, I can't seem to do it in time. Damn it. Damn it. Another bomb. For no reason. This game makes no sense whatsoever. Just so you know. 
And I think half this game's problem is that it's from the era where people thought that everything absolutely must be a platformer. Because, you know, it can't be a more... I think Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde would make sense as more of an RPG-style thing. At least as Dr. Jekyll, it would be more of a conversing with the town folk kind of thing. And then when you're Mr. Hyde, maybe you go on a rampage. Just to provide some context. Oh, crap. Literally. Why does bird crap look like human crap? Huh? Ah, dagnabbit. Too bad that- Oh, there is a fast-forward button here. Good. This, this should help immensely. At least until they start dropping and stuff. No, you don't. Get out of my way. Oh, boy. That was a close one. Get out of the- get out of Bob's way! Thank you! If you save state, scum, you can- you can make it. I would hate to have to play this on actual hardware, though. Dang, damn it. I practically cleared out my health, too. In addition to completely clearing out my meter. Okay, get the hell out of the way. Sometimes you just gotta backtrack. It's your best bet. You gotta stay alive. By any means necessary. Sick. I'm a simple man who's trying to live his life. Like I said, in this in this sense, Mr. Hyde actually seems freaking sympathetic. He's almost like the Hulk in that regard. He's probably popping up because everyone keeps threatening Dr. Jekyll's life, and he needs to protect both of them. I mean, who's really the bad guy here? Clearly this town is full of bad people. What is with those freaky, freaking out cats? Oh, that's great. Yeah, don't go near them. He's looking around and like he's trying to deliberately do this too. Messed up. Ah, crap. Ah, forget you two. Yeah, crud. Dang, damn it. This is messed up. Did I mention that? Okay, there we go. I managed to get far enough. Another bomber, right? Dang it. <laughs> well, that was weird. Did I just activate a glitch there? Does it look like... Looked like his meter went out right as... Eh, forget this. Let's, let's try this. Punch. Punch them all. Death. Ah, you gain more meter. That's cool. So maybe I can't do this. You gotta get your meter back before the... Run out of health. This is messed up, you know that, right? Why does Mr. Hyde have to fight monsters? You know what, I'd like to fight those freaking town people. That would make him look like, quote unquote, the bad guy, but actually I would still sympathize with him. I guess they, they're, they're really trying hard not to make Mr. Hyde the bad guy, even though he's... He would have been justified. Also, I just realized I'm actually losing progress because... I'm going backwards. Which is ridiculous. Damn it. What the hell was that? What was that all about? Damn it. Dang, damn it. Messed up. Of course, they only do a, sh a shallow hop when they can't get to me. And they suddenly do a very long hop when they can. It's messed up. They don't want me to be able to hit back. Dang, damn it, this is tough. 
This, this game isn't infamous for nothing. Dang, yeah, it deserves every bit of it more. How the hell am I supposed to fight, fight against that? This is ridiculous. Dang, damn it. There you go. Dang it. This is ridiculous. Screw you. Screw you, man. There you go. Just die, all of you. Damn it. So much for me refilling my meter. Because you can't get through this for crap. There you go. Damn it. Damn you. This is messed up. Did I mention that? Screw you! Okay, if you aren't at the middle of the screen, you move faster so you can... Can someone avoid them? You have some maneuverability here. It just has to be in the very extreme of this screen, which is stupid. Very stupid. If you try to attack one, the other ones get you. It's hopeless. It's extremely hopeless. Damn it. Damn you. Go to hell. Go straight to hell, please. All of you. Go to hell. Okay, there we go. Come on. There are more of them. Of course there are. There are always more of them. There's always more where that came from! Damn it, you gotta go to the far end of the screen just so you have a chance of dodging them. And then one of them randomly hops high just to make that not happen anymore. Okay, there we go. Okay, I gotta let them hop twice. That seems to be the best bet. What the hell? Was I double jumping there for a second? Because, uh, that, that was kind of interesting. Oh, great. Now we're just gonna make it impossible. Randomly. We're just randomly gonna make it completely impossible. Just, 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 I don't know, for what? Challenge? Screw you! What the hell? Dodge these for crap. Damn it. You're supposed to dodge that. You're supposed to dodge both those. Oh, okay. I guess it is in theory possible, but it's extremely difficult. It's extremely impractical. Good luck. Man, I'm just dead. I'm just full of death, aren't I? Damn you! This is bull crap. I think I did it by going forward and then I gotta jump right and it's not gonna work. Because of course you do it once and then it's never gonna happen again. I guess we're just gonna keep doing this over and over again. I apologize for the next 16 minutes. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh, you gotta be effing kidding me, man! You gotta be effing kidding me! There's no way to get through it now! This is bullshit, man! Bullshit! And I'm not afraid to say it either, it's bullshit! Come on. This game is bullshit, isn't it? Uh, I was right. Superman 64 is almost kind of humorous in its difficulty, but this is definitely ball busting. 
this is probably... This has got to be frustration beyond frustration. You know what? People say that Dark Souls is infamously hard. At least Dark Souls, there's an understandable quality to it. I get the feeling that I could probably beat it if I could just figure out the mechanics well enough. But this, on the other hand, this is difficult in the worst possible way. Where it just makes you want to... It just makes you want to break a controller through a TV. That's the kind of difficult this is. Dark Souls is the kind of hard where you want to keep moving on and try to, try to get through it that, that one time, you know. Just one more time and you'll probably do it. This is the kind of game where it just makes you want to curse the people who made it. I guess they can't hurt you. That's convenient. Oh, crap. Uh, and I say that, that's not an invitation for you, you stupid birds. Maybe you. What is with these freaky cats? It's weird. Damn you! Okay, there we go. See ya, you freak. Freaking dogs, too. The dogs may just be the worst. Because they... They like to move a tangent! And they're random, too, apparently. Dang it. <laughs> Went off screen before you could, huh? Screw you, you dog. Damn it. Damn it. Didn't do it right. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that works. Dang it. At least I only got hit once that time. Until the dog decides to randomly go around in circles just so it can kill me again. And the jump really does not cool off fast enough to allow this. It just doesn't happen. There we go. That dog was chill for some reason. Okay, you know what? I'm a dog person, but I'm starting to rethink that. This game is single-handedly making me second-guess myself as a dog person. Definitely not being a bird person anytime soon. I owe my kid birds are cool. This isn't gonna make bird. I mean, this isn't gonna ruin dogs for me, it's not gonna ruin birds for me, let's be real. Would you quit dropping bombs? What is with you? Are you insane? Is this Mr. Hyde? Does Mr. Hyde have physical form? Because that would make that would, that's the only thing that would make even a lick of sense. Let's save that to a different slot. Just because I know I'm probably going to impulsively save as Mr. Hyde. And now uh, let's not let's not ruin our chances here. Wow, it's a miracle! I actually managed to make it through. Holy crap! Stupid kid. I guess a lot of games are a lot easier when you can just save state and, uh, you know, try again. Freaking bomber. It's just messed up. I swear, this guy's a psychopath. Go to hell, kid. Damn it. There you go. Okay. And these guys just drop bombs. Why the hell does everyone hate Mr. Mr. Dr. Jekyll this much? I'm sorry, I keep wanting to say Mr. Hyde. Why does everyone hate Dr. Jekyll this much? What did Dr. Jekyll do to you? Seriously. You think Dr. Jekyll killed these people's puppies with how much they hate him? 
everything just seems to be out to get him. Like I said, I'm beginning to think that Mr. Hyde is just his guardian, trying to protect him. That a bee? Of course, now, now, there, now there are bees. Because, you know, it wasn't crazy enough before, was it? This is just weird. What do I hear a cat? What are you doing here? And a dog again. That dog of mine. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Oh, you're trying to kill my dad and you ain't no friend of mine. Freaking kid. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I swear, it's like... It's like a, a man can't even walk around anymore. Around on fence posts for some reason. I guess because he's tired of everyone trying to kill him. He's trying to de defend himself. He's hoping that by walking around on, on this wall, he'll dissuade people from trying to kill him so much. Unfortunately, it's not working. Damn it all. I got an idea. Yeah, there we go. That actually works much better. Strategy found. When leaping over the dog for the first time, try to leap to the left. That way, at least it'll... It should get over the dog twice. This bee is just going around erratically. There's no way to predict its pattern. Oh, great. I've seen this in a... It, I've seen musical notes as a, as a weapon in Scunny, but never here. Holy crap. Oh, great. Okay. These ones are short. No, they're, no, they're not. Never mind then. I thought there was a pattern that I could recognize. They're literally using singing as a weapon. This is insane. Did I mention that? Have I made that clear enough that this is insane? Is there any way past this? It doesn't seem possible. No matter what I do, she seems to have a note for everything. For literally every situation. Okay. Damn it. I thought I had her. There we go. Made it. Take that, you, you singer of death, you. All I had to do was abuse the crap out of save states, and I don't really care with this game. This game can suck me. Damn it. Leave me alone, you stupid kid. Hey, cut it out. Man, even the spiders are trying to kill him. That's probably not not to be surprised. If the people are trying to kill him for no reason, why wouldn't the spiders try to kill him? Come on, you stupid spiders. Oh, screw you. You're working in tangent with them. That sucks. You're going to make sure that it's impossible for me to get through, aren't you? Okay, I just got to stand still. He's only triggered after a certain point. Okay, here we go. Out of the way. Oh, right, there's a freaking bee here now. I couldn't even see it. Because it came out of the freaking tree. Right next to my head. Stupid kid. Stupid kid! Stupid kid! 
Leave me alone. Come on. Quit doing that. I really don't appreciate it. Well, at least not everyone in this town is trying to kill me. Just most of them. Just like 90% maybe. Yeesh. Talk about nuts. You basically need save stating to get through this crap. Place, huh? Wait, I made it past that. Oh, great. Not gonna make it past the bomb, though. Lovely. I'm screwed then, aren't I? Damn it all. Damn this town and damn all of everyone in it. This sucks. This really sucks. Well, I may as well spend the last four minutes playing as Mr. Hyde because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna win to this point. It's impossible. It may as well be impossible. See? What'd I tell you? Damn you! Well, at least the most I can hope for is that. At least I lose as little health as possible so that the Dr. Hi the Mr. Hyde section that inevitably results in is impossible to avoid at this point. Really? And all you get is a punch, too. A weak little punch. This is ridiculous. Dang, damn it. They just instantly know how to how to counter you. Because uh, you have to actually get close to them. Ah, uh, damn it. This would be like Ghost and Goblins if for half the game you couldn't even defend yourself. I mean, hell, the Nightmare on Elm Street game has a similar thing going on where you go into the dream world, but at least you can defend yourself in the real world. The funny thing is, you only had an anemic punch in the real world for that one. So basically, that, that anemic version is this one's actual combat area. Whereas in the, in, the, in the dream world of the Nightmare on Elm Street game, at least you had weapons to defend yourself with. Hell, if you got the javelin, you were golden. That was a good one to have. If you were the acrobat, that was probably the best one, just because you were you were flexible. And all the weapons do pretty much the same amount of damage anyway, so it's better to have more flexibility. So you can avoid enemies better. I can't believe I'm saying that. Because that game is considered bad too, but... This makes that look like Citizen freaking Kane. I'm, I'm just saying. The Dr. Hyde, the Mr. Jekyll, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde game make the, the Nightmare on Elm Street game look like freaking Shakespeare in comparison. I'm just saying. Screw you. There you go. That abuse the safe states, you know? Screw you. Oh great, no matter what. I'm just, I'm just destined to take damage there, aren't I? Unless I just don't go for the kill right away. That works too. Right. Damn it. Damn you. There we go. That's a that's one way to do it. I'm gonna keep doing this until I actually get ahead. So no way in hell I'm actually going to play fairly when the game won't play fairly. The game sure as hell isn't going to play first, so why should I? 
Even Mr. Hyde's ability to jump is severely crippled. You've got to be effing kidding me. Eh, screw it. It's it's beyond it's the it's the end of the video anyway, so I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like may as well be impossible because it basically is functionally what what the hell is that? Okay, like glitches galore. And I'll see you next time to weather and capitalize on life. Be sad, have a good one have a nice and very pleasant day. More pleasant than Mr. Hyde is having, I'll tell you that much. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.